Hey, hi everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about how to use console.log in Node.js. Well, console.log is a free built-in function in Node.js and your JavaScript. And you can use it to print something into your terminal, right? So let's see that how we can do it. Well, for performing the console.log function, we can either use it in the node environment or you can we can use it in our script right so let's first see that how we can do it in our node environment for that purpose we will come to our terminal and write a node here press enter after pressing enter you come inside the node environment you can see welcome to node.js whatever version you are using is printed here right after that now here you can write your console.log so we'll write console.log put the bracket here inside this hey how are you i want to print it so i will simply just print press the enter and you can see it has printed hello sorry hey how are you like this got it so this is how we can do it in our terminal basically right in the node environment for coming outside the node environment we need to write dot exit like this press the enter and you came out of the node environment now for how we can do it in the basically in our javascript right so for that simply just you need to write console.log here also and put whatever you want that is hey i am the best like this got it after doing this save it after saving it come to the terminal write node script.js why script.js because it is the main file in which i have written our code right so just write node script.js press enter and you can see hey i am the best is printed here if you want to add on something like comma two three plus three minus one let's say right and i save it go to the terminal again again if i write node script.js press enter you can see i got the value after performing the operation that is three minus one that is two right so hey i am the best and then two got it so this is how we perform the console.log in our node.js i hope you understood the concept very clearly it is very easy to use and very basic but we need to understand that how we can do it in either in the node environment and secondly in our script file right and the main thing about this particular lecture is that how we can start our project with the help of node the main file name which is script.js here right so, so thank you so much for watching goodbye